This is Talk Gamer 007 here. And let's get started with the VGB Bulletin. All right, let's start with some Square Enix news. Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age got an 87 on Metacritic. And Digital Foundry states that Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age is running 1080p 30 frames per second on the base PlayStation 4 and 1440p on the PlayStation 4 Pro. 1440p is not a huge deal. Um, 4K gaming is a long way to go to even get 60 frames 4K. Like Digital Foundry said, they said that Kingdom Hearts could run it, but Kingdom Hearts is a smaller game, even though I love Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 3 is not a small game, but you know, Kingdom Hearts uh, 1, 2, Dream Drop Distance, they're all smaller corridor games. You cannot compare them to Final Fantasy 12. Sometimes they have some type, CPU might be a bottleneck, you know? So in my opinion, it's no reason to be sad and angry it's not 4K. Say your feelings about Final Fantasy 12 is only at age. Being 4040p on the PlayStation 4 Pro in the comment section below. Let's move on to some Nintendo Switch news. Splatoon 2 Splat and Chat headset is coming to the West. Nintendo Everything states that the Splatoon 2 Splat and Chat headset was revealed coming to the West on Amazon. If you don't know these headphones, Nintendo Everything gave a great summary. Quote unquote, the Nintendo Switch. Splatoon 2 Splat and Chat headset is based on an in-game item. By using it, you get experience, in-game uh, sound, and voice chat at the same time while playing online. It has a removable mic, interchangeable decorate plates. Just last month, Nintendo and Board revealed these special Splatoon 2 theme headsets for the Switch for Japan. Continuing with Nintendo Switch news, it's time for you to get hyped for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. It's been confirmed for the Nintendo Switch to release in North America and Europe on September 22nd by De Bandai Namco. The Japanese version has previously been announced and confirmed to, for September 7th. Um, I am hyped for Xenoverse 2. I love Xenoverse. Number one, I am getting this. Day one, when I saw it in the presentation for the Switch, I I freaked out because I really wanted to play Xenoverse 2, bring my Switch, and play with other people. And yes, I would always wanted to. I wanted even a strong laptop so I could play Xenoverse 2 mobile. Uh, so yeah, it's I'm getting that day one, and maybe Dragon Ball Fighter Z can sneak in on the Switch, and I get that too. So let's go on some another Nintendo Switch news. WWE 2K18 is announced for Nintendo Switch, and 2K Sports appeared to taking the Switch version of WWE 2K18 seriously. When a fan claimed that the game would likely be based on the older release in the franchise from the Xbox 360, the official WWE 2K Twitter announced note that it's not based on the previous gen version. It also reported that, that two 2K sports games that includes that includes NBA 2K18 and WWE 2K18 for Nintendo Switch will be releasing at the same time as other platforms. Tell me what you what you think about all the Nintendo Switch news in the comment section below. For the last article of today, according to Oh My Disney and Cage Insider, it's announced that D23 Kingdom Hearts Showcase will be streamed online live. According to Cage Insider, Level Up, the Disney Company Video Game Showcase hosted by YouTubers Jax, Spy Eye, and Strawberry17 will take place from 10 to 12 p.m. Pacific Time on Saturday. July 15th and will stream on on the Polaris Facebook page and Jack's by eye Twitch. Personally, I cannot wait for D23. Nomura, please. A release date. So yes, it's about time to end my video. If you would like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want videos like this one. Try not to be afraid of the comment section. I want to know your thoughts below. This is Talk Gamer 007, and I see you in the next one. Peace.